Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this recipe video, I'll be sharing with you a Fiji Indian favorite for tin mutton with aloo and surwa or gravy. And this recipe has been kindly shared to me uh, by my aunt, my fua, Auntie Gita. Uh, she basically is in this video and she all credit for this recipe goes to her. So we've started off with some oil in our pot and patch pot on. I'll leave the information about that in the description. And we're also going to go in with uh, our onions. Now you see they're kind of sliced thick and long. And uh, once the patch poran has kind of popped, we're going to go in with the onions. So Auntie Gita herself uh, cooked this recipe. She shared a lot of recipes with me. And this was one I managed to get on video. So uh, along with the onions, we're going to go in with some hot pepper and some curry leaves. Tejpati, karipulle, whatever you call it. And we're going to allow these to cook until the onion starts to lightly brown. Now we pounded some garlic with some salt in our okri and musar and turned it into a paste. And we allowed this to um, cook down just for about 30 seconds to a minute once uh, the onions have browned in our oil just to remove that raw flavor. Now we're going to go in with some haradi or turmeric powder and some Fiji masala, which is a, a form of a ground garam masala. We're going to roast these in the oil until uh, the raw scent kind of escapes and it starts to become a little bit more grainy uh, when you're mixing it in the pot. Now we're going to go in with some chopped aloo. Uh, the amount of aloo you use is pretty well up to you. This recipe is very versatile in the sense that uh, you can use as much or as little potatoes as you want, as much or as little water to create the surwa. Now, after mixing that in, we're going to add just enough water to cook the aloo. And uh, we're going to cover this, allow this to cook. And then we're going to taste to make sure there's enough salt and adjust because we did add salt to pound the garlic in the beginning. Now, once the aloo has cooked uh, entirely, this is the mutton we use, Salisbury. It's the most popular brand. And we find if you use the halal version, there's less of that fat and impurities for you to have to clean through. Uh, it's just a cleaner um, mutton to use. So again, once the aloo has fully cooked, we're going to go in uh, with the tin mutton. And we're just going to mix that in at this point in time. Uh, so this is actually uh, one of two ways of making uh, corn mutton. This is the curried version. Uh, so once the mutton has mixed in, we added a bit more water and we're adding in chopped tomatoes at this point. We're going to allow this to cook for 10 minutes, uh, adding enough water to create the sauce, the surwa that you desire, and uh, allowing the tomatoes to cook entirely. And this is the final recipe. It's very quick, uh, very easy. And here we are. This is one of the Fijian favorites, once again, uh, credited to Auntie Gita for sharing this recipe with me, with all of us.